Hi everyone, this is David Wong and today I'm going to start making a series of videos to explain a zero-knowledge uh, proof system called Plonk, uh, P-L-O-N-K. So Plonk is actually a paper by, uh, let me look it up so that I don't make any mistakes, uh, by Ariel Gabizon, Zachary Williamson and Oana Chobotaru. Um, it's a general what I call general purpose zero knowledge proof because unlike the the let's say more ancient zero knowledge proof systems you can prove the execution of actual circuits uh, programs not not really arbitrary programs to, there'll be some limitations there um, but it's much more uh, it gives you much more freedom than the zero knowledge proofs that um, you could use to prove the knowledge of a discrete logarithm uh, or, you know, uh, the coloring of a graph or something like that. So Planck is like one of the, you know, state-of-the-art uh, zero-knowledge proof mechanism uh, system. And it's also called, th these tend to be called these days uh, ZK-SNARKs, ZK-SNARK, for a succinct, um, this is a succinct part, non-interactive, so kind of like a signature. Um, it's not a protocol that's interactive between a prover and a verifier. It's just you send a proof and anybody can verify it. Um, and this is, oh yeah, non-interactive, sorry, an argument of knowledge. And the argument of knowledge is that you know something. Um, and, and of course, the zero knowledge proof is, the zero knowledge part here is that you're not revealing that something. So it's a bit abstract uh, and hopefully along uh, this, this series of videos, it'll, it'll make more sense uh, what you can do and cannot do and, and how this works. Um, so what I'm going to start doing is the next video is going to be about uh, kind of the abstraction, um, kind of an abstraction of, of zero knowledge proofs and what you can do with them and kind of do to kind of give you an intuition of what we're going to build. After that, I'll give an overview of Plonk uh, and, and I'll, I'll tell you kind of like um, how I personally divide Plonk. I don't know how other people do it. Um, I'm relatively new to that field, uh, so I'm, I might be making some mistakes here and there. If you have the annotations turned on on YouTube, um, I'll try to annotate any errors that people report or that I make. Um, but anyway, I'll, from my point of view, Plonk is kind of like two parts, um, and I'll try to explain that in the overview. And then I'll dig deeper in, in, um, uh, in these parts, uh, and, and I'll go over more stuff. Um, yeah, so yeah, stay tuned for, for the next video, and, and uh, catch you later.